Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at art to life and I am in my studio and I get a bunch of comments, questions, um, ideas about, hey, why don't you show kind of working on your work a little? So I thought I would do that. And I'm gonna, t I'm gonna talk about three paintings and I'm gonna talk about, cause it's the process that I wanna share with you, the thinking behind like, well, what do you do? And it's different for each painting. So if you show kind of one painting, you think, oh, that's, that's how you do that, but it only relates to that painting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you three paintings really quickly, what I'm thinking and what I'm gonna do next based on that thinking. This is just my thinking and, and this is just what works for me. This isn't like how you do this, it's just more how I do it and it, and it might be helpful. So I'm not pushing this, but the, the way I, think about it, and let's talk about this one here. I look at the work, and this one's pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. Um, it's still wet, and but I look at it in terms of what does it have going on a lot? Um, because that then something that offsets that. So I'm trying to figure out what to add, but if, it, if it's the opposite of what I'm doing here and of what I like, I can make what is here better right? By showing the opposite of something or by decreasing if you have too much of something, that's a change that benefits. It isn't just about, oh, well, I like that yellow, I'll add more. So when I look at this, on this painting, it's really mushy and loose edges, but there's also sharp edges here. And, you know, there's clean, crisp edges and I and that's working for me and I and I like the colors and I like the mushiness because there's softness there but one of the things that I'm seeing that I like and I don't know how much I can work on this but I'll just tell you is that I love this there's some tiny line work in here and I want to bring some line in here a little bit hints of line um, which will add to this picture because that's what's missing right now in this picture. So I'll do that in a second. Let's hop on over to this one, a completely different picture. And if I'm gonna start working on this, what do I like about it? What's working is I like these little peekaboo color things coming in these little tiny chips of color, but it's mostly this neutral color with this giant color thing. I like this, what's happening and I feel like I wanna do more of that, just go more, a little bit more. So I'm gonna add some other chips of color. Now I'll probably go overboard with it and cover it up again, but I think that's a cool thing of this picture, but I'm only, I can take it further. So that's what this painting's needing. This painting's mostly just neutral beigey painting. So I wanna like push that further, at least to the point where maybe I go too far and then I can back up. Often we don't go far enough. Like this is pretty cool, but th there's a, this thing can get a lot better and it can be pushed further. This idea of, oh, like we like this part, you know, these little chips of color poking through, but have that really happen in a major, in, in a more ways. Um, and that's not really happening here. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Working on this one over here. So what's going on over here? Um, I look at this and I see a couple things. I see everything is kind of like, all these shapes are all kind of like glued to the edges. And you see how it's like the same size things kind of like stuck on the edges. So that's one thing. I don't know that this and this and this and this, it's like they're just all quarantined to this zone. I'm, I, I want my eye to move around. I want to feel, I'm feeling like that's happening a lot. So maybe I, eliminate one of these things. Um, but then we also have this area here. See how it's just all kind of empty? And we have two kinds of values in this painting. We have super light and we have these kind of darks. I think I need something here, but I wanna go with a middle value. I wanna go with a half step because we don't have that. And that might, that might help. That's how I'm gonna approach this. Probably gonna eliminate something and bring in something in an area where there is nothing, take away something where there's too many of them, and then bring something back over here, but don't bring back the same thing of the same dark contrast that we've seen over and over again. Bring something that's more of a middle value um, uh, 
and I'm not sure what color or whatever, but that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'll do these uh, real quick and, and we'll see. So this painting, so I talked about that line work. Now, this is wet, so I kind of have to fake it, but I need this to dry and maybe I've come in with pencils, but I can paint in this very thin line here, maybe. Um, and you can see I'm going where there was a scrape. There was lines on this before. Um, It's a little severe. Lines are, th you know, like, it's a little strong. So now back up a little. Yeah, back up and you'll see that that line, when I get back and look at it, do you see how it's like a new thing? like a new kid on the block. It's refreshing kind of to have this in this picture. That's why it looks good. It's because it doesn't show up everywhere. If I did more of this here, it's just like, oh, too much. So that's, that's kind of working. And I might go into a few areas. Look, this is really wanting something down here. A very delicate line. Look how good this will look. See, it's like it, it, um, it's crying out for something like that. This can get a little stronger. This is too strong. Do you see how that, look, look at that ad so much. Let's go over here. Now I'm gonna just add some of this color back in here. Um, it's gonna look horrible, uh, probably because I'm just placing it in here, um, but I can fit it in better, but I'm just gonna put some color in. Um, What we're trying to do is we're trying to do stuff to the work that moves it down the field. We want it, we want it and be improving it. Now it's not a straight line, but the straighter the line it can be, like the faster you can get to where you're going, where you, you know, and um, so this is, uh, this is kind of working. Um, I'm going to add so much to this to the point where it's too much. Does that make sense? Like, go until you've gone overboard because it's easy to get rid of stuff. And I'm just trying to get it so you can kind of see, um, see if this is kind of working or whatever. Um, okay, so you can kind of see what's happening. It's, this is looking better in my opinion it's not integrated yet, but I'm gonna even go further, but I'm not gonna spend my time doing that. But that guess, 
it wasn't a guess. It was, a, it was based on what was working and double downing on it. When you're winning, keep going. Okay, so let's look at this one over here. Um, uh, okay, so, you know, I'm still moving the furniture in this painting, moving things around and everything. So I'm gonna eliminate something here. Let me get my paint. Even though I like this, even though I like this color and I like what's going on here, it's not the right place. It's like a weed in your garden. It's just a plant in the wrong place. I wish I could move this here and get rid of this one, but I, I got to get rid of this one. I, I, I don't, I sort of need this one. So I'm just going to paint this out. And one of the things is when I paint something out, I don't try and hide the fact that something was there. I want to leave some remnant. So if I use this, and there's this little hint of what was here before, I'm actually not losing all the value of what was here before. I wanna show that I've painted something over. In fact, I'm gonna go out here a little bit and paint a bigger white. Okay, so now that's gone and we have lost some things. Now that's more interesting. Already the picture is working better. Just, we're not sitting on this tabletop of line where it's like, this is here, and this is here, and this is here. We're moving through it. Um, let's uh, let's bring something in here that is a shape that is a different value. Um, I also am not crazy about this Halloween color, and I, I really want to muddy this down. I think this kind of color is better, um, so I might earth tone this. This is a big, biggest shape here. It doesn't need to be as saturated as this because it's so big. So I'm gonna dirty that up and then put something else there. Um, okay, so I'm mixing up a dirtier version of that. Um, just to kill that. It's still really saturated. I'm trying to make a muddy, a muddy orangey yellow, more of an earth tony. Nope, it's still too saturated. A little black and a little white mixing black and white to get rid of some of the color. There's the white, here's the black. The value is also getting a little lighter. I'm not sure this is gonna work. look. Now I don't want to, it's a little too, see how solid and thick it is, so I want to remove some of that paint. Okay, all right, now um, I'm gonna bring in something up here.
it's going to have a lot of red in it, whatever this is. Um, that's too dark. The value is really what I'm after here. And I'm just putting something in to see sizes of things. Wondering if the size. Um, if I can keep some of the same sizes here, um, but bringing this color into a few more few more places um, so it relates but that's so in all three of these cases um, this is moving it down based on what there's too much of what I ascertain is working or not working giving you know adding to the winners and, and eliminating the losers <laughs> in the work. And it just moves uh, the work along really quickly. So I don't know if this is how you work or how you think about it. I imagine it kind of is, but um, I hope maybe that's helpful. Um, leave a comment below uh, and let me know how you approach uh, the different kinds of problems you have in your art making. You know, this is this is what we learn in CVP and the Creative Visionary Program, and, and a lot of what I teach is based upon differences. So um, we have a wait list for that, and we also talk a lot about this in the Artalize Facebook group. So um, there's a link to join there so you can get on the wait list for, for the CVP, Creative Visionary Program. That's not for a while, but um, joining that Facebook group is a great step because we introduce some of these ideas in there. So there's a link down below for that. Thanks for being here. Super appreciate it. Hope your Sunday's awesome. Okay, thanks. Okay, so PS, check it out. So I just, as soon as I turned the camera off, I was looking at it and I've made this longer. I actually changed the proportions of this shape to be more different than all the other ones. So it changed in its value, it changed in its proportions, um, and it changed in its placement. And when you get piling up of differences like that, things get optimized. And that actually is really, that's helped a lot. So um, <laughs> I, I think that made a big difference. I just wanted to include it here. Awesome, thanks. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great, let's do this.